It is widely accepted that the first piece of legislation on copyright law was implemented in 1710 by Queen Anne. After recently unifying England and Scotland to create Great Britain, Queen Anne created the Statute of Anne. This gave authors control of who could make copies of their books and build on their work for 28 years. This has had a huge influence on modern day copyright law and is still referenced in court to this day. Despite it being outdated, it is used to emphasise the moral and ideological basis for copyright law. However, despite it being the first copyright act, the first copyright dispute came 1200 years earlier. Copyright is a pretty big issue in modern times and that fact is extremely prominent on YouTube. There's entire uploads of TV shows on YouTube and creators are often subjected to copy fraud where people will claim the work of others as their own. When someone steals your work it's quite frustrating. You want to get angry, you want to get mean and you want to write a four thread tweet about how Susan Wojcicki is a useless idiot who's destroying the YouTube platform. But how about this? You raise an army and go to battle. Well, that's exactly what happened. In 560 AD, people couldn't make a video complaining about UMG or Onision. Instead, they had a huge battle. But why? All will be explained in today's video on the first ever copyright dispute and the Battle of Kuldrum Nur. Our story begins with a man named Saint Columba, also known as Comsil in his earlier years, who was born in 521 AD. Originally from Ireland, Columba is a hugely influential religious missionary who spread the word of Christianity across Scotland. He was also one of the Twelve Apostles of Ireland. The Twelve Apostles of Ireland studied Christianity under Saint Finian and were notorious for spreading the word of Christ, founding churches and even being miracle workers. Saint Columba himself was known for being able to turn water to wine. He was an extremely potent writer too, and has supposedly written 300 books. But despite all of this, Columba and Finian didn't always get on. During Columba's time studying under Finian, Finian came into possession of the Vulgate, a Latin translation of the Bible, and the first copy to reach Ireland. Understandably, Saint Columba wanted to borrow it. So he did, but without his permission, and then he secretly copied the entire thing, intending to keep the copy for his own use. Presumably this would have been used for Columba's work, but Finian was having none of it, you claiming it was the theft. But the two saints could not settle the dispute themselves, so they both agreed to take the matter to the King of Ireland, King Darmate Maxabale. I probably completely butchered that name, I apologise. Finian claimed he'd been wronged, but Columba's defence was extremely similar to one of the ones used in fair use today. Columba claimed the original book had not suffered in any way due to the copy. In modern times we'd look to monetary losses to the original creator of that book as the sufferer. But St. Columba even argued that the copy benefited the original book, to preserve its words if the book was ever to perish. This defence was ultimately unsuccessful though, with the king stating, To every cow belongs her calf, therefore to every book belongs its copy, meaning the owner of the original book owned all the copies. So the world's first copyright dispute was resolved and they all lived happily ever after, except the complete opposite happened. Columba was completely outraged by this outcome, and would not take it lying down. So what did he do? What any rational person would do really. He raised an army of 2,300 men to fight the king. Saint Columba may have been a man of God, but he was ready to settle this copyright dispute with war. The battle itself was extremely brutal, with an estimated 3,000 deaths. That's right, 3,000 deaths over a copyright dispute. Can you imagine if that happened today? Columba was ultimately victorious, but it was probably due to his significantly bigger army. Despite his victory, Columba's win was short-lived. The violence appalled the church leaders and they blamed Columba, so they punished him by banishing him from Ireland, with one of them later saying, Columba should atone by converting as many souls to Christianity as had died in that battle. So Columba did just that, travelling to Scotland and converting all that he could to Christianity. And as for the copy, it was held in Ireland and has survived to this very day, being the oldest surviving manuscript in Ireland. So to all you aspiring YouTubers, just remember, if you ever commit copyright infringement, even raising the entire army won't save you from justice. Thank you for watching. This was a bit different to my usual stuff, so if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments and like the video. Next time, I'll hopefully be bringing back small YouTubers you should watch, but this time it's with a twist, so be sure to keep your eye out for that. Please subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with everything I upload, and I'll see you next time.